Hi everyone, I'm Katie Filling with the Venture Philly Group and today we are back with another neighborhood feature. Welcome to Queen Village. This beautiful, historic and laid back neighborhood has so much to offer. So come explore with us. I wanna say thank you to our sponsors Mortgage Country for making this video possible. Queen Village is just south of Society Hill and just east of Bella Vista. It runs from north to south from Lombard Street to Washington Avenue and from 6th Street East to the Delaware River. There's a lot of bus routes that come through this neighborhood. It's also great for commuters because of its easy access to I-95, but really the best way to get around this area is walking. It's an extremely walkable neighborhood, which makes it very desirable. Queen Village is very charming, peaceful, and quaint. It's a really residential area, and it's really laid back. It has a ton of history. You'll find some of the oldest homes in the city here. There's narrow streets with gorgeous architecture under a canopy of trees. It's done a great job of keeping that historic and well-established feel and vibe, but also been modernized with the eclectic group of people and businesses that keep coming to the area. The area overall is just really relaxing. It's a great place to go for a stroll, walk your dog, wander around and pop into the great shops and restaurants in the area. Locals here like to keep their shopping, dining and drinking close to home. It really has a small town feel where people really like to support the local businesses. And the residents here that I've been talking to today tell me that it's just such a strong, close knit community. All of the neighbors know each other, they support each other and are there for each other. And they really just love living here. And just a quick little history on the area overall. Back Back in the 18th and 19th century, this was a working class suburb. Queen Village was home to a lot of the people who worked on the riverfront, like dock workers and shipbuilders, carpenters, things of that nature. Now today, the residents who lived here, many of them have lived here for years and years, but they're very welcoming to newcomers and that new modern energy that continues to come. Let's talk about some things to do in the Queen Village neighborhood. First up, you can come to the famous Fabric Row. Here you'll find third and fourth generation fabric vendors, plus a whole new variety of a new generation of businesses like boutiques and tattoo studios, restaurants, and more. There's also some really great neighborhood parks in this area. For example, Mario Lanza Park and Wakako Playground. They're really great neighborhood parks. Also, I was talking to a resident this morning who was telling me that it's all taken care of by neighborhood volunteers. They all pull together to really make sure those parks are taken care of. If you're looking for a little history, there's plenty of it in this area. You can head to the Sparks Shot Tower, which is this tall brick tower, sort of looks like a smokestack. It was built in the early 1800s, well before the Civil War, and it was actually used to create ammunition. It's kind of a cool story. Basically, how they would use it was they would pour molten lead from the top of the tower, and when it would go down to the bottom, since it was coming from such a high level, when it would hit the water at the bottom, it would create these circle balls, like basically musket balls. So it played a very key role in a lot of wars. And finally, checking out all of the really cool businesses in this area is a great activity. There's so many great ones that you just have to see. People who live in this area love to support their neighborhood restaurants and there's a ton of great options for them and it's great for visitors as well. So some of our favorites and our recommendations are Crybaby Pasta, Neighborhood Ramen, O'Neill's Pub, 4th Street Delicatessen, Emmy Squared, and Keshet Kitchen. When it comes to real estate in Queen Village, you'll find a lot of different types of properties, both historic and modern. This area features three centuries of American history and architecture. The 100 block of Fitzwater here is a great example of that. In Queen Village, some of those types of properties that you're going to find are Trinities, Victorians, distinctive bay window facades, 
sleek, modern 21st century architecture, a whole lot of different types of options. A lot of homes in this area are actually on the Philadelphia Historic Register. Back in the day, a lot of homes in this area were built out of wood frames, and you will still find a few of those homes in this area, but building those types of structures was outlawed a long time ago because of a lot of large several fires that started. But that just goes to show you how historic this area really is. Another thing to note is that a lot of homes in this area have garages, which make these properties very desirable. And finally, you'll also find a lot of condo conversions here. So old buildings that have been converted into beautiful condos. Queen Village is also home to the William M. Meredith Elementary School, which makes this a very popular area among families. This is a highly sought after school district, and it's something that you should note even if you don't have kids because it really does increase property values in the area. As of 2022, the average home sale price in Queen Village is $607,000. We hope you enjoyed our tour of this beautiful neighborhood. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you think of Queen Village in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as we'll be putting out other neighborhood videos and real estate tips and tricks coming soon.